How you doing out there, folks? Yes, it's me, Frankie, the unknown songwriter. I thought, well, I have everything set up here. I added some things here. I'll, I'll explain it in a minute. Now, I just got a comment. Frankie, are you in a wheelchair when you're doing these songs? And I asked him back, no. Because everybody sees me sitting down. No, I get around all right for my age and all. I can walk around. I can walk couple miles if I want, you know, slowly, but I can do it. Yeah, still in pretty good shape. More, I'm in better shape mentally than physically. You can see that the way I can memorize songs and, and do these videos and no script and no nothing. But I'm not, you know. And I want to make sure that he knows that. Eventually, somebody else asked me, why don't I do the song Standing Up? Yeah, I, mean, I could, and it's not like I can't stand up. It's just that it'd be kind of difficult for me the way I have it set up to do it. I couldn't do all that by myself. I would, how would I have this camera what far away from me to show, you know, the distance? And have the smartphone up there with the music? It just wouldn't come out like it does here. So I'll think about that. And another comment was, well, how do I choose the songs? I don't put the names of the songs and singers in a hat and pull them out at random. I just go through there and I look for songs that I, I didn't hear and I figure well most people haven't. The old songs. Some of them a little bit newer I do, but not, not so much. Now the ones I'm doing now is this Frank Luther. I don't see too much. I don't have any, I don't see any live performances from him. No videos. Maybe there is. I don't know. I don't see it. Just have like one picture of him, his face, that they must have come up with. And then his his wife is Zora Lehman. She also was singing duets with him and all. So I've been doing a lot of those songs. But again, if you're not too, you don't have to view them if you don't like them. That singer. I mean, I don't know the songs of his. Very few of them. Mostly all really different songs. And the titles are long. See, it's some different things that I notice, you know. He's got like a little bit of a hillbilly accent. He has a band, a trio, and a whole bunch of stuff. Just in those days, that was the entertainment. You know, in the 20s and 30s, 40s, that was a big thing, radio and all. So, I'm doing his, I'll see you, know, I'm going to do next. You know, I just look through the computer and I look up different time periods and see what I can come up with. If anybody wants a specific song, just say one song. But check, I might have done it. You never know. I've done so many songs, over 5,000 songs. So, if, even if you don't want to check and you ask me, uh, some guy asked me, to do a song, and I did it. He asked me, do I do Walking to New Orleans or something like that by Fats Domino? I said, yeah, I could do it. So I, I did it, and I just other Fats Domino songs while I was doing it. So Now, somebody else asked me about you doing your songs that you wrote. I said, yeah, but not now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not now. I'm doing all these old songs. So I decided to do one of mine. I picked a Christmas song, because I only did one Christmas song. And you know, Christmas is not too far away. Someone might be interested. So I'm going to do, I'm going to play the demos. I think it's like five different demos. And you know, you'll hear, hear it and see how it sounds. To go to show you with the same lyrics how the different songs sound. Over 40 years ago. So I'll explain more about that as, you know, afterward. I think by me doing all the songs first, it'll go a little bit quicker. You don't want to hear the rest of the discussion. You can still hear the songs. Okay, now the first one. Let's see. Let me make sure. Okay. I just got done cleaning them. So that you won't hear no static. Now this is on an acetate disc. It's a demo. It's on 45 RPM speed. This is by Five Star Music Productions. And the singer is Mel Moore and it's going to be St. Nick's the name and we'll see how it comes out I have the record player here see I'll start it and we'll see. there is one saint that everyone should know because he makes the heart 
Saint Nick's the name, and at Christmas time he gets his fame. All the decorations and tinsel and lights remind the children of such beautiful sights. From city to city and town to town, they're waiting for one man to come around. Saint Nick's the name. At Christmas time he gets his fame. From the North Pole he comes every year. And at Christmas time he will always appear. Saint Nick's the name. And at Christmas time he gets his fame. On the eve of that special day. The children can't wait till he pulls up in his sleigh. When he makes his famous ride, everyone will be asleep inside. Say next the name, and at Christmas time he gets his fame. After he has come and gone, everyone wakes up about dawn. And when you see what you got, you're glad it wasn't a little and sad that it wasn't a lot. If the children were good the year through, they will have something to look forward to. But if they're not, they have themselves to blame, because they didn't remember that same. Wasn't too bad. Now that song, the way that was, I could probably sing it in my voice. That's similar to my voice. So let me put that aside here. Got to go do some more. I'm going to try to go through this. I'll explain more at the end. Now, St. Nick's the name. It's on a 45. See it? 45 RPM. And the singer is Bill Joy. See it? There it is. I had to put a disc in so I could play it on my record player. So MSR Records. That's the division of George Liberace. They did the demo. So let me put this on here now. It's on 45 RPM. Put that on. It's not a bad. Listen to the lyrics and you know see what you think. Oh, 
How'd you like that one, huh? See what I mean? Same lyrics, different companies. You see how the demo sounds? Huh? It's the way it is. And me doing this. I'm really kind of crazy. I feel like a disc jockey. Let's put this one away. So I don't get mixed up here. Okay, so that was Bill Joy. Contract the singer for George Liberace. Oh, now, another one. New Sound Records. See? 45. They send 45 so I could send them out, you know, to disc jockeys to play. Take next to name by Todd Andrews. This is like you know, Nashville Music Productions and their label is New Sound. So I'm going to see. It's on 45 RPM. Now, this singer sounds like Jiminy Cricket. You know, the Disney character? See what you think. Let me get this. There you are. There is one thing that everyone should know because he makes the heart of boys and girls glow. Same Christmas time, he gets his fame. Tinsel and lights, and all the decorations make beautiful sights. From city to city, town to town. They are all waiting for one man to come around. St. Nick's the name. And at Christmas time, he gets his fame. On the eve of that special day, the children can't wait until he pulls up in his sleigh. And when he makes his famous ride, everyone sleep inside. Yes, St. Nick's the name, and at Christmas time, he gets his fame. After he has come and gone, everyone wakes up about dawn. Not a little, but a lot. If you are good, the whole year through, oh, Saint Nick will be so good to you. Now, doesn't he sound like Jiminy Cricket? Yeah, there was a singer back in the, I think in the 40s, and Walt Disney was looking for someone to do that voice, and his name was Cliff Edwards. That's his only known to fame, was that voice of Jiminy Cricket. Okay, here's another one. I'm trying to do this so we could, you could listen to all the songs first, and then I'll discuss it at the end. Okay, let's see. Another 45. Yeah. Now this one's on Tin Pan Alley. It's by the Melodiers, St. Nick's the name. Now I'm going to put it on here. Now the only thing with this one, just to show you these demos, you never know. They sent me a test recording, it sounded nothing like this demo. This is a group back in, that was doing Contracted Singers, it's a group. And this is the record that they gave me for a Christmas song. And I wasn't too happy with it, but... You still can hear the lyrics and all, but they, they took a, a theme, music from some other song. Sounds like Secret Agent Man, Secret 
agent. Man, they put St. Nick's, the name. You'll hear it. And they change it around a little bit, but I don't know. Okay, St. Nick's, the name by the Melodiers. Let's see how this is going to come out. Yep. too bad but again you kind of ripped off that music that's what I'm saying that's why I did all these different demos you see what you, what you got yeah okay it'll be the last one I'm gonna play the, the demo that they sent me test recording as you might call it and then I'll do it on an album it's a female singer it's for Columbine it's a Columbine records not to be confused with Columbia, you know, it's on a, this is not really an acetate disc. It's a, on a 45 disc, but they put that hole in the center. So it's, this is St. Nick's the name. And it's on Columbine Records. The singer is Kay Weaver. Contracted singer, it's a female. So I did this one last to see how it sounds. So it doesn't matter. It could be a group or anything. Okay, let's see how this is going to come out. St. Nick's the name by Frank Weaver. Take one. There is 
pretty good with a female singer and it's different I'm glad I had some different you know I didn't request it just whatever the, the companies do I guess I could but that one wasn't too bad but then I decided since it was a female I decided to do an album you know get an album done it's called let's see if I can get this songs hmm. do this. okay that's it. songs of the Christmas season fit it's got that snow and stuff there. It's not too, not too fancy. I just want you to see that. And it's on this album with about, uh, I think it's 12 songs. Others, you know, other songwriters. Okay, let me put that one. Turn it over. And here's the singers. Now the top singer, let's see if I can do it this way, Kay Weaver. See it? He's the one that's singing my song, that girl right there. And you've got Ralph Lowe in the center. And there's Kate Markovitz. She sang one of my songs too on another album. But there it is. That's what you call Vanity Press. I'll pay for that. I mean, to get my song there. Now, I'm going to cut six on here. Columbine Records. Like I said before, not to be confused with Columbia. Now, this is a regular size, 33 and a third. See it? Oh, boy. I didn't drop it. There it is. See it? Now I'll put it over here. Now the problem is going to be, I have to change the speed. See, I didn't forget, you know, to change the speed. Because it's 33 and a third. Now, I don't know how I'm going to see it. It's not going to be easy. There's one second. I got it. Hmm. There is one saint everyone should know, because he makes the hearts of little kids glow. Saint Nick's the name. At Christmas he gets his fame. Tinsel and lights are the beautiful sights. From city to town until he comes around. Saint Nick's Christmas he gets his fame From the North Pole he comes every year At Christmas time he will appear And if the kids are good the whole year through They have something to look forward to Even on the coldest day There's only one you can say
doesn't sound bad you know the test recording they sent me well that's the same woman that did it and it's pretty good I don't know if I get someone would I want a male or female I, I guess I don't really care you know it doesn't matter or a group let me give some background here I wrote this all these songs over 40 years ago before I met my wife and she liked all the songs and she's the one that called me the unknown songwriter. And, yeah, because she said nobody knew about the songs but her, and it was correct. So that's where I got that from. And Frankie, she called me Frankie, and not Frank. So, that's, may as well cover that, how I got the, the screen name I'm using now. So we were discussing things back in, in the day, we just started together. And she always went to church and prayed, and knew all the saints and all. And she said, Frankie, did you ever think of writing a Christmas song? I said, Marie, I never really thought about it that much, you know, but it, it doesn't sound like a bad idea. I said, do you have any titles or any things? For I, I need that to work on. She said, what about St. Nick? I said, yeah, I hear St. Nick in some Christmas songs. She said that he was like the patron saint of the children. So I said, well, you know, that's a good... You know, it's a good one to do. She said, you could do it gospel, because he's a saint, and you could also do it for Christmas. She had some good ideas, Marie. I mean, things that I wouldn't think of. And I said, do you have any titles, any other saints or anything? She said, no, Saint Nick's the name. And when she said that, I said, well, that's the title. I mean, she means the name and not other saints, and that's where I got it from. So I said, yeah, Marie, I think I'm going to do it for you, because you, you came up with it. And I did it and all, and, and the, all these start doing these demos. And when I did this record, she thought, wow, you got it. You mean that's a song? And I said, yeah. She said, you got that? How'd you get the singer and all that? You know, to do that, you got an album? Wow, that sounds good on an album. I said, yeah, Marie, but it's on there with other songs. So it's not, you know, other singers like, you know, this one singer does it. And she does all the songs on there. There may be some other singers, too. And that's what makes it, my song gets lost on there, you know, like that. It doesn't really showcase it. But she said, wow, it sounded so good. She was happy. I said, well, you can enjoy it no matter what. If, you know, she just couldn't believe that. That they took it because it was that good. I said, well, they'll take any songs at that time, you know, when you're paying for the service. You know, and she understood it all. And that was that. But as I did the song, I had another title, Different. I had St. Nick's the name that we all know well. And I was thinking about that. And then I mentioned it to Marie, and she said, No, well, that's a Christmas song. You mean you have another Christmas song with the St. Nick? I said, No. I meant No Well. K N O W W E L L. Oh, I get it. No Well. No Well, that was pretty. She said, That sounds pretty good. Say next the name that we all know well. And then she said, do you have the lines for that? Yeah, I said, well, if I'm going to put it in there, I already did this one. And I said, yeah, I would go, Saint next the name that we all know well. He comes around every Christmas while we sing No Well, No Well. She said, oh, that's good. You could do it. That's to say, I could do different versions. I actually did have one version with that in it. I didn't play it here, but... Yeah, I don't know about that. That I'm not concerned if anybody wanted the song. I decided at the time to put that back in. It's kind of neat. Maybe could take Noel 
and my song and put them together somehow that we all know well and go no well no well you know right in in with my song so anything possible nowadays to do okay so now you know how I got that title so I got all these demos and all didn't get nobody to take it you know and so I went on to something else now I'm looking for a singer maybe a musician or anybody that wants a new song and plus it's a Christmas song and if you are interested but now you have to contact me I'm mentioning this because I had an, uh, an incident here with YouTube I guess it was about a month ago they contacted me that I had a copyright strike against me I don't want that they'll cancel my account for that but I didn't know it was a song about Joe Biden I did it about six months ago. Maybe since he become president and all, they don't want any of those kind of parody songs that was kind of a little bit not too good. Yeah, I took it from another singer, did it. I didn't do it. I mean, I just mimed it like I do all the songs. And I was on there for a while, and I was getting a lot of views on it. But I didn't contact the guy that did it, so that's probably what the issue was. That's what I say on my songs, you have to contact me. You know, more than likely, you tell me what you want to do with it. I'll probably give you a certain period of time. See what you come up with. There's no charge or anything. Now, if anybody wants to buy this song, and that way you'll own it, I'm out then. I'd have to figure what the going rate for, you know, an original song would be. You know, I know once I sign the rights over to somebody, I don't get nothing no matter what. So I would say, you know, give a price. You write me a check. And once I cash the check, you're the owner. So I want to mention that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting a frog in my throat. At least I don't have to do when I do those mime jobs. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just a little tickle. Okay, so back to this now. So I'm looking for. Her. Any, uh, anybody interested in this song you have plenty of time for Christmas because you can go ahead and you can even remaster because you see how clear those those demos are that's why I like records they're clear okay so think about it I played all the demos and you heard them how they sound you could use one of them if you wanted to I have sheet music for all these demos so if you want to use the same music be no problem you could sing it get a group maybe you might want to make a video for Christmas using that song you know follow the lyrics and make the video follow the lyrics could do that and I know on on YouTube and Twitter there's definitely songwriters and singers but I got contacted from a songwriter and he said he's got his own song he doesn't need it well fine but he doesn't have that song you know, it's different. You know, if anybody out there, think about it. Let me know. You could go through YouTube or, or Twitter. I know there's singers out there. I've actually got a singer on Twitter here that's been following me. She's a well-known singer, but I, I don't know if she's taking outside material. Okay, I think that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And have a great day.